Now take a rectangle with sides A and B and let the ratio of the sides be let the ratio be 5. Now the phi is A by B, where A is the longer side and B is the shorter side. Now let this ratio be equal to the ratio of the sum of the sides to the longer side, which is A, which is A plus B to A. Now on equating these two equations, we get this equation, which is a quadratic equation. And finding a solution to this equation, the ratio which we had taken, it comes out to be 1.6. 6180222 and many more digits and this ratio is called the golden ratio but what's so golden about that Ooh, welcome back to another video guys now this ratio is golden but our way of looking at it is not at least not yet so let's do something now let's take our golden rectangle which has sides 1 and 1 1.618. Let's take this for the simplicity. Now take the square of the shorter side which is as in this case is 1. Now put this square of 1 cross 1 on our already taken golden rectangle. Hmm, we have something interesting here. We have our older square and the left out area and it forms a rectangle. Now let's see what kind of sides this rectangle has and it, it, it is as you can see 0.618 and as the side of our older rectangle 1 is there something special about this rectangle too hmm now let's take the ratio of the longer side to the shorter side and woo, what did it come out to be 1.618 which is the golden ratio now let's apply this procedure to the existing rectangle taking the square of the shorter side which is here 0.618 and put it again on this rectangle and there you go, we have another rectangle. Now we can continue this process till infinity and we can have infinite golden rectangles. That's, that's neat. Okay, still, where is the gold? Well, let's do something. Let's make an arc in each of these successive squares. Now let's make an arc from one corner to the opposite corner and keep on successively adding these arc in each of these squares. And in the end, what do we have? Well. This is the golden spiral and this is where the gold is because this thing can be found everywhere you put your eyes on, literally everywhere. But now our golden spiral relates very close to the Fibonacci spiral which is made from the famous Fibonacci series which goes like 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Just keep on adding the last two digits and you have your next number and this goes on forever. But how does it resemble to our golden spiral? Well, if you take the ratio of the next number with the previous one, it comes out to be very close to our golden ratio. Now, as the number goes higher, the ratio comes closer and closer to our golden ratio, which is 1.618. Now, let's take the ratio of 5 is to 3. It comes out to be 1.666, which is close. Now, let's go even higher. Let's take the ratio of 21 is to 13. And it comes out to be 1.625. Hmm, that's closer. And let's go even higher. Let's take the ratio of 233 to 144. And what does it come out? Hmm? It's the golden ratio, 1.618. Now this number has been found in many ancient creations. And what do you expect? The Great Pyramids of Giza. Egyptians again. Now the ratio of the side of the pyramid to its base Come out, comes out very close to our deal number, the golden ratio. And for the pyramids, it is approximately 1.5717. It's close. And this number can be found throughout the nature. Hmm. Which logo is this? Our Twitter. Hmm. Pepsi. And hmm? Apple. And yes. This ratio can be found throughout the nature. Look at these flowers, petals, hurricanes, spiral galaxies, our whole universe. Okay, that's that's the lie. So if you guys like the video, and if you're new to this channel about science, go check out more of the videos. And finally guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. And don't forget to hit a thumbs up. Goodbye.